Hey guys, so Boogie2988, he's made the news, not positively. It's been a very long time since he's done something positive and made the news because of it. But uh, Boogie2988 is here scamming his audience with crypto tokens called the Fatty Token. And he said he is desperate for money. He says he needs it for his cancer treatment and his medical bills. He also has a massive Magic the Gathering collection that he refuses to sell. When asked why he doesn't want to sell it, he says, oh, that's my retirement fund. It goes up in price. And then in a recent Caleb video, he says, oh, it's not valuable. It's like pet rocks, which is not true. He has some pretty good stuff. Has he ever paid for the stuff? No, it's probably, it's probably all gifted to him. So keep that in mind uh, for what I will say next. Now, Boogie is, he's Boogie. He is an e-beggar. He's no different than a lot of Magic content creators today, in my opinion. But he offers very, very little in terms of actually content that you would want to donate to. So Boogie has gone to Canada, or he's trying to go to Canada. He's taking his very young girlfriend she is so young, she can honestly be his daughter. Um, and that's very weird as well, but uh, that's Boogie for you. Magic the Gathering player. Boogie encompasses probably the worst parts of Magic the Gathering. Right? He refuses to sell when he needs to sell. He steals money from his audience by begging, and or even in this time, it's even worse, crypto coin. He was going to get paid $10,000 for medical bills. So he sounds a lot like uh, a guy I used to know. His name was the Manasaurs, the Wedge. Still half a million dollars from the half a million dollars he stole from the Magic the Gathering community because his doctors, and he, I don't know why he would tweet this stuff. His doctors told him, no, you should not go to conventions. No, we're not going to let you travel. You shouldn't sit for long periods of time. And just like Boogie, he was massively overweight, not in a positive way. Even Disney would have a, a take effect. Disney, even Disney wouldn't put him on any of their shows. That's how overweight he was. And he was supposed to go on a diet and, and then back pain. And a lot of things, a lot of warning signs. And then all of a sudden, the community got to donate money to this dude because he injured himself to something that was super obvious that his doctor had told him multiple times not to do, but he wanted to do it for you guys, the community. And then you guys, the community, would then have to pay. I mean, that's Boogie. I mean, I don't know. I mean, Boogie is probably almost the average Magic player, to be honest with you. I'm seeing a lot of parallels between him and uh, the Mana Source. In terms of getting money, in terms of getting donations, in terms of begging all the time, in terms of not selling his magic collection when clearly he needs to sell it. Like if the options are scam people over crypto coin or sell your magic collection, I, I would hope that Boogie would be like, oh, well, you know, I should probably just sell my magic collection. Why why scam people, right? And, and I don't know, it, it just... It rubs me the wrong way, and maybe it's not my decision to make, but I have donated to Boogie. It rubs me the wrong way that supposedly Boogie needs all this money. On one hand, Boogie needs all this money, right? He needs so much money, for uh, so he's willing to sell his soul out to promote a crypto coin. And then on the other hand, he's taking vacations to Canada with his young girlfriend. So which is it? Do you need money or are you going to take a vacation? Because the the look of it is really bad. The look of it is really, really, really bad. And you read the comments that he has and they're all very negative. They, I mean, they basically all say, hey, like, how, how can you afford this? I thought you were utterly broke and that's why you had to promote a crypto scam. Just delete all his videos and move on, right? At one point in time, I mean, you look at the views nine years ago. Nine years ago, 325 views. YouTube wasn't like what it was today. That was probably the largest magic video at the time. If 
for Magic 2015 core set. If you Google it right now, I don't think anyone was making videos bigger than that. And then Carnage and Tarkiera, 182 views. He was huge in Magic the Gathering. Massive. And now look at him. Just look at him. It's, it's terrible. It is truly, truly terrible to see. I am... And, and the, the other crazy part is very simple. Why don't you sell your Magic collection? If you need money so, so badly, and he does, I don't, I don't actually think I have a disagreement as to that. I do think he needs money badly. Um, I think it's pretty clear that he needs money badly. Um, why not sell? Why not sell? And... You know, why would you, um, why would you, would you rather be known as a crypto scammer than sell your magic collection for your medical bills? And then on top of this, which is the really, really crazy part, is you're scamming the small audience members you have left. And you know that you scammed them because the coin actually did go up in price. It was a pump and dump. It reminds me a lot of Meta Zoo, right? Like they pump it and then they dump it. And then they're like, oh, I didn't know this was a pump. No, no, you idiots. <laughs> You'd have to be very stupid not to recognize it. I think the website he was sending people to was called pump.fun. It literally had pump in the name. It's my, it's maddening, right? It's, it's really maddening that um, a individual like Boogie can even exist online. But... The mana source was exactly like that. There's so many grifters on X, especially. I saw, I'm not going to mention her name because she would like throw a fit. But there's an OnlyFans model on X right now. Supposedly a special invite, Magic the Gathering. Uh, her name is, uh, her fake name is Mebo. And the mana source, you just donate a shit ton of money to her OnlyFans. And she is now willing to sell tapes of herself engaging in non-safe behavior for a hundred dollars each as a half off because he needs to raise seven hundred dollars for a fundraiser of some type like this is what our society has gone to like everyone you know you you, you talk about I, I mean here 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 would i rather donate money to a beggar on the street than somebody online yeah absolutely at least they're trying. Uh, now, will they be legitimate? They, 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 are they going to a home to a nice home, nicer than yours, and a giant Mercedes Benz will pick them up one? Yeah, absolutely. That's how beggars work, right? It's a... Uh, actually, we went to a really nice McDonald's, and there was a beggar there, and she actually came in and followed us to the McDonald's, and the McDonald's had to shoo her out. Uh, well, this was today. There are a lot of mother-effing beggars out there be very careful who you give money to. You give money to Boogie, he ain't going to use your money to uh, pay for no medical fees. I tell you that much. He's going to take a vacation. You know, the money that you gave to Boogie that you saved for your vacation because you thought he needed the money, he's going to take a vacation on your dime. A lot of Magic the Gathering players are like this in social media. Only fans and so I mean it's just it's not a cool place to be guys. It's not cool.